Now that was fast, isn't it? Yes, obviously with over 60 km an hour of top speed and 20 km of range on a single charge, it's too much for an electric bike conversion. So hang in there as we are going to reconvert our electric bike into a rocket. So we have already done two conversion over this bicycle. The first one is with a geared brush DC motor and later we switch to a more powerful brushless DC motor from an old hoverboard. The amount of torque that motor provided was crazy but the selection of controller and battery was not that good. So we have to redo the whole conversion and for that we have to take the previous one apart. In our previous conversion, we have modified the motor winding to increase the speed of rotation as our speed controller cannot handle that much high voltage. So this time, we have decided to go with a much high voltage and low amp system as it's going to be more efficient in the long run. So we don't need any modification and thus we are going with the stock version of the hoverboard motor. During one of our countless visits to Scrapyard, we luckily found a brushless speed controller for electric bike that's rated for 3 kW. Although the controller was not in a great shape, but later upon testing, it seems to work absolutely fine and that's great because as compared to the previous setup, this thing can handle up to 84 volts and 50 amps. That's almost 4 times more powerful. As some of the parts for the enclosure were missing, so we took it apart and found that the enclosure is way too big, besides that those wires are a complete mess inside out. So we designed a new enclosure and 3D printed all the parts. Once the enclosure is printed, we carefully marked and trimmed all the excess wires. Later, we soldered the battery input to the XT60 connector and the BLDC output to the bullet connectors. The PCB was then mounted inside the enclosure against a heatsink with a bunch of screws all over the enclosure to keep everything in place. Not only the size of the enclosure was reduced, but as we replaced the hanging wires with the onboard connectors, the overall footprint for the controller is reduced by almost three times as much.
Here I would love to thank JLC for making this project possible. JLC is one of the largest PCB manufacturers around the globe, providing a vast range of solutions for designing, manufacturing and assembly of up to 6 layered customized printed circuit boards right at your doorstep. The process to order your boards is pretty straightforward and don't confuse by their competitive pricing as their quality is just flawless. So don't forget to visit their website, the link is in the description below. As we connected the throttle assembly to the controller, the only thing we need to make it work is the battery pack. With the previous setup, we have used hobby grade lithium polymer batteries. For sure, they can provide insane amount of discharge, but they are unable to get the bike over 4 km of range on a single charge due to the limited onboard capacity. Yep, we can obviously add more of them, but they are damn expensive and we are unable to fit them for the required capacity on our bike. So the only solution is a custom built battery. Now if you have subscribed to our channel and press that bell icon, you might have seen our previous project video about building those customized lithium ion battery packs. Each one of which is a 42 volt 300 watts hour unit and they are built completely out of an old battery pack that we managed to get from the scrapyard as well. Those customized units are designed to fit under the seat and we are going to use two of them. So in total we are going to have 600 watts hour onboard capacity that's mounted using a custom designed and 3D printed battery holder. This customization enabled us to squeeze almost 6 times more capacity within a very limited space. Besides, both the battery packs are connected in series, operating the system at 84 volts, which means that we have to deal with less current, thus less heating issues, resulting in a much more efficient system. Now all we are left to fix are those funky footrests and then we are ready to roll. Now this conversion ended up way better than what we have expected. The torque is amazing and the top speed was a bit over 60 km an hour. Yes, 60 km an hour. Now with the heavy pull over the throttle, the bike seems to consume nearly 30 watt hour per kilometer which seems fine as with the current battery capacity we can get easily over 20 km of range on a single charge or even more if we ride at moderate speeds. Now guys, just for the sake of comparison, we are going to race our electric bike against our conventional bike. So have a look at it. Later, we both get over the bicycle and this thing kept working without breaking a sweat. I mean, what a project. So 
गाइज आई होप यू लव दिस प्रोजेक्ट वीडियो एज इट टेक्स अस अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क टू गेट दोज प्रोजेक्ट्स डन लेट अ लोन बी द एडिटिंग एंड ऑल दैट इज टफ टू ब्रिंग दिस कॉन्टेंट right next to you guys so if you want us to continue working on such kind of diy project ideas in this space and bringing all those ideas to you guys then consider supporting us on patreon i'll put the link in the description below and as always your support and love is much appreciated and i'll see you soon in the next project video yes so stay tuned